What's up guys, Sal here. So traditionally we see the Google Pixel release towards the latter half of the year and Google is not changing their release schedule with the Pixel 6 which means expect the launch to happen in early October. We know a few things about the Pixel 6 already such as a new front design where the punch hole camera is not only going to be smaller than last year but Google is also changing the position from far left to the middle. Also the handset is expected to have an in-display fingerprint scanner. That said, during an earnings call last year, Google CEO said that they are doing some deeper investments in hardware and that there was a terrific roadmap ahead in 2021. We finally got to know what he was referring to and this deeper investment in hardware is how Google is planning to make the Pixel 6 stand out from the giants Samsung and Apple. You see news broke out last year that Google has apparently been working with Samsung to develop a new chipset for its devices. The new Google chipset would reportedly appear in Pixel phones as soon as this year which means the Pixel 6 might not have Qualcomm power. Turns out the report was on point. 9to5Google has obtained some internal Google documentation which reveals Pixel 6 will be the first Google product to have this new GS101 chip from Google. GS refers to Google Silicon and GS101 is what they are calling the chip internally. The document reveals that this codename is also directly connected to Samsung including references to Samsung Exynos which means the Google Silicon and Samsung's Exynos will have some commonalities including software components. This is in line with last year's report that Google is teaming up with Samsung which is providing design support and manufacturing for the project. The report also says Google SoC is an 8-core ARM processor with hardware optimized for Google's machine learning technology and the always-on capability of the Google Assistant. The chip would be built at Samsung's foundries on the firm's 5 nanometer process. Google developing its own phone processor would mean dumping Qualcomm's SoC it usually uses. Although high-end Snapdragon chips used by the vast majority of smartphone makers provide very high general purpose as well as graphics performance, therefore enabling manufacturers to innovate with their cameras and software. However, because they are off the shelf, they do not carry any custom design exclusive hardware that could differentiate a device in terms of performance and capabilities. I mean companies like Apple, Huawei and Samsung have developed their own smartphone SoCs for a while now. Apple went even further and built its own highly integrated SoC for its Macs which appear to be quite powerful when compared to x86 processors from Intel. Furthermore, its M1 chip carries numerous special purpose accelerators that enable performance and capabilities not accessible to off-the-shelf CPUs which changes the way Apple's processors can be used. So it's only logical for Google to get into building the chips that its OS runs on. It will allow them to optimize the chip design to how the next version of their OS and apps will need to run most efficiently. Also Google's current chips that include Pixel Neural Core which is a camera silicon will work better on Google's in-house design main chip since Google can tweak controls however they want which is something not possible with off-the-shelf Qualcomm's chips. So an SoC division would give Google some much needed flexibility when it comes to hardware. This will allow Google to innovate its Android and Chrome OS platform quickly and stay competitive with Apple and Microsoft since it's considerably easier to implement certain features into in-house design silicon than persuade a third party to incorporate something into their SoC. Also this means the Pixel 6 will have a proper in-house flagship processor and not a mid-range one. Of course, with that being said, do let me know what you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.